Hi students, today we're going to be creating a Google site to determine the five greatest breakfast cereals of all time. Let's get started. Hi, my name is John. Normally I'm creating videos to help your teacher design lessons for you in the classroom, but today I thought I'd teach you how to use Google Sites for your school project. Now, Google Sites is super easy to use and it's a lot of fun. You get to build your own website. To get started, you're going to head over to Google Drive and you're going to click on the new button, go down to more and look for Google Sites. The very first thing you want to do is make sure that you name your Google site. This will allow you to find it later on when you need to edit again. So I'm just going to um, add a name to my site. And you can give it uh, the same name up in the top left corner. This is the file name. That's what it will actually uh, show up as in Google Drive the next time you need to see it. Now that we've got our site set up, it's time to add some pages to it. We're going to go over on the right side of the screen. You'll see a bunch of things, uh, the insert menu, pages, and themes. We'll look at all of them. Let's go to pages and create some. I'm going to click the new button. And here are my five favorite breakfast cereals. Coming in at number five, we have multi grain Cheerios coming in at number four is life cereal. Number three is, um, Frosted Flakes. Number two is Captain Crunch. And coming in at number one, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. All right. So we've got our five pages. Now it's time to add some content to them. I'm going to head back to my multi-grain Cheerio page to add something to your Google site. Simply double click. In an empty area, you'll see a little click wheel, and that allows you to add an image, something from Google Drive, a little bit of text. I'm going to use the text tool and add an explanation of why Multigrain Cheerios is in my top five. I also want to add an image over here on the left. So again, double click. I'm going to click that image icon. Now, you can upload an image if you have one saved on your Chromebook or Google Photos. You can uh, upload it. I'm just going to do a Google image search and search for multi-grain Cheerios. Find a picture of the box, perhaps. There we go. And I'm just going to insert that as well. Super easy to add stuff to your Google site. And we can grab these little handles over on the edges of the image to make it bigger, smaller. You can you know, drag it to the left, drag it to the right until you're satisfied with uh, the layout. Let's continue on. I'm going to head down to Life Serial, page number two. Now, one of the great things about Google Sites is that it's integrated with all of the other Google products. So Google Docs, Slides, Sheets, Maps, YouTube, everything. I'm going to go to the Insert page. And uh, there's lots of things on here. I'm going to be scrolling down. You can see all the different things that you can add. Um, one of the things that you can add if you're doing a science project, for example, is a chart. So now, I have actually created a little graph illustrating the big problem with life serial. So I'm going to click on chart. Here is my graph. I'm going to insert that in. This was created in Google Sheets, but it can be displayed here. So if you're doing a science project, you have some data that you want to share on your site, it works really well. The big problem with Life Serial is durability. It always gets soggy, and you can see that here in my graph. All right, Life Serial is done. Let's head down to Frosted Flakes. Of course, you know the tagline for Frosted Flakes. I'll go ahead and add that in. Thank you, Mr. Tony the Tiger. They are great. Now, you can add videos to your Google site as well. I'm going to go to the Insert menu. We've been hanging out there quite a bit. You'll see YouTube as one of the options. And you, if you have a YouTube video, you can just copy and paste the link right here. If you don't have it, you can search for it right here. So I'm going to search for Tony Tiger. See if I can find a little video for him. There he is. And I'm going to add that video right into my Google um, site. Again, you can drag things around, place it wherever you want. You can preview it just by clicking the uh, play button right here. And it'll play. You can actually determine how and when that plays as well. So let's head down to serial number two, Captain Crunch. Now, I have actually uh, created a very detailed biography of Captain Crunch, which I would like to display here on this site. You know, few people 
uh, know the true history of Captain Crunch. If you have created a um, writing assignment through Google Docs or a presentation using Google Slides, you can add that to your Google site as well. You're simply going to go to the insert menu, scroll down to whichever Google tool that you've used. In my case, I've got Google Slides. And I'm going to look for my Captain Crunch biography, the world's most favorite captain. We're going to insert that right into the Google site, and we'll move it around so it's next to our text. This works with Google Docs, Google Forms, Google Drawing, Sheets, whatever Google product you've used, you can add your file right to your Google site. All right, we just have one final cereal to work on. My personal favorite, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. So I'm going to head over to that page. And one other option that you can consider when you're adding your content is to use an image placeholder. At the very top of the image uh, or the insert menu, you'll see these layouts. And you can just drag one of these in. You can do one image and some text, three images, four images. There's a whole bunch of options. You just drag that in and type something in. The best cereal of all time. Very good. Um, and uh, everybody loves a little animated GIF, so I'm going to go ahead and add one of those as well. Now, I've saved this image to my computer. I went out and found it. I'm going to go to Upload. This is looking at my downloaded files. There's my animated GIF, so I'll insert that in, and uh, we'll crown Cinnamon Toast Crunch as the king of all of the series. Now we've got our five pages finished. We've added some content to them. Hopefully by now you understand that you can add all kinds of interesting things to your Google Sites, you know, Google Documents, presentations, GIFs, videos, a lot of cool stuff. Let's go ahead and um, set up our site a little bit more. We haven't talked about the theme tab yet. So if you look over in the top right, we looked at insert pages, head over to themes and you can customize the look and feel of your site. Uh, there's about five different themes that you can select from and then you can select the primary color and font style within each of them. And you'll notice that it you know automatically adjusts all of your content. Uh, so pick one of your favorites. If you are feeling adventurous, you can also create your own and select your own fonts and colors and backgrounds uh, and all of that. Next up, we want to go ahead and look at our home page. Um, we haven't really added any content to this yet. So you might want to type something up, maybe an introduction to what this project is. And I like to add buttons. So I'm going to go down to the insert menu. There's button and I'm going to just say number uh, five. And I'm going to link this button to serial number five, multigrain Cheerios. So there it is. And then I'm just going to copy and paste. And we're going to change this next one to number four. And we're going to place that one on a different page. That's going to be life serial. And I'll just continue doing that until I have buttons, clickable buttons that people can click on to go to those various uh, serial pages. All right, I finished up my home page, added a picture and some more links. The next thing we need to do is publish our site. Now you can do this at any time. You don't have to wait to the end, but you want to make your site visible to other people. Now your teacher will probably give you specific instructions on how to publish your site. So make sure that you follow uh, whatever directions they've given. I'm going to click on the publish button up in the top right. And it's going to suggest a URL, a link for my site. You can change it if you want or leave uh, what's there um, as it is. Now, right now, my site will be visible to anyone. And this is where your teacher may give you specific instructions on if only uh, they should be able to view your site or only people within your school district. You can click on Manage to make some changes. Very similar to sharing a Google document. Right now, I'm going to click on Links. It says, my published site is public, so anyone on the internet can look at my site. Your teacher might say that they want it to be only visible to your school district, or they might ask you to share the site directly with them. So just follow their instructions and select the options um, that are appropriate. I'm going to go ahead and click that Publish button, and now my site is ready to go. One very important thing, if you make changes to your site, you need to click the Publish button again. Those changes will only be visible when you republish the site. So change it, 
and then click the publish button. Now, if you're curious, if you want to know what your site looks like to other people, you can click the preview button up at the top. It's the uh, little computer and uh, cell phone icon. There's our preview. And this is what it will look like. So this is what my site looks like on a phone. This is what it looks like on a tablet and this is what it looks like on a laptop. Well, that concludes our tour of Google Sites. If you're interested in more student tech tutorials, check out this playlist up here. And if you'd like to go even deeper in Google Sites and learn some advanced tips and tricks, check out my Google Sites playlist down below.